Here's now the top side of the generator. I'm going to do one last test before I put it away. Let's see. Perfect. Nice quiet sound. As it should be. I'll just show you a couple things while it's out. The motor, the main motor, has two little oil caps here. This is one of the newer self-starting motors. Uh, some of the older ones have a, a starter motor and a main motor. So this is this is both. These take about 10 drops each, it doesn't need much. And then here, here is the oil funnel. And for normal maintenance, this is where you would add oil. And you just fill that up like so, and then there's another one over here. And fill that up a few times, you know, once or twice. Not really sure exactly, but you know, they recommend a certain small amount every year, which of course nobody does. But if you have a really, really noisy generator, like this one, uh, these little cups aren't really going to help you. The way it works is there's this trough here and this trough goes the whole length of the thing. Those two cups, that one and that one, they drop oil into the trough. The trough is full of little strings and then on top of the strings a piece of felt to sort of hold the oil. And each of those little strings then wraps around a little part of the axis of a tone wheel generator. So in theory the felt and the string will slowly wick the, the oil everywhere and it will eventually get to every bearing. So some people will tell you to just dump a bunch of oil in there and wait a couple weeks and see what happens and maybe that's good enough. But I don't want to wait weeks to find the result of a thing and then I still have to add more oil and then wait weeks again. It's ridiculous. I just want to fix it and be done. So if you have a really noisy tone generator, I suggest you just take it out, flip it upside down add some oil precisely where it's needed, and then top these off, because you know the felt is dry. Uh, yesterday, I filled these cups, I think, four times, and I also added oil on the side of this trough, a whole bunch. And then about 30 minutes later, I flipped it upside down, and nothing leaked out. It all soaked in, so I know it was completely dry. So I'm just adding a little bit more now. Um, 